Welcome back everyone to the Ottoman Empire in the Surma where we are trying to become the sick men of Europe. Uh, not sure how well we're doing that because, well, it's a very complicated story because right now we're moving into land and we're also being destroyed by land. But anyways, we're right now fighting the Russian Empire. Uh, it seems generally like the, uh, the, uh, Germans are crushing through everything. I really do like this. We're still winning a whole bunch of battles, which is nice. We're crushing through, we're crushing through all the rest of these guys' as men. There we go. And right now there's a big battle going on right there, which I think I'm going to go join in. Yes, we have so many men moving in. We've basically, I think we basically turned the tide against the Russians. They're losing quite heavily. Quite heavily, I mean, look at this. And we, they could potentially surrender at any point in time today. Which, if they did, people, I'm not saying I would yell and shout and be all happy, but I would definitely do something that wouldn't be, uh, you know, you know, important. And let's see. I'm not sure if we're gonna... We actually might win that, so... Actually, um... You guys stay. Alright, and then... You guys stay. Because I want you guys to group up and become a new army. There we go. And then I'm gonna go send in my other men. There we go. Sent in those guys. And let's see. Those Russians are trying to reconquer their capital, which I don't want them to do. If they reconquer their capital, we could potentially deal with less war score. So let's go take back that capital. Um, do I have any troops right next to over there that I could use to go help us take over that? No. But the Russian Empire is... Ooh, wow, they are completely destroyed. We've completely blocked up everything they need to. I mean, they've lost a lot of their troops. The British are starting to move in from the south, and they had this war that just got declared on them for some reason. It's a good thing, too, because if we didn't have these guys distracting the Russians, we would have a much bigger force to deal with. Um, I think what I'm going to go have to do is I'm going to have to have all these guys go group up and go fight together. Um, Lombardi is actually not going to be that much of a help. Uh, you guys are being much of a help right there, because you guys are sieging up my land. And we actually have this army done. Okay, you guys right here, I'm going to go have you guys go directly land, directly onto St. Petersburg. Maybe you guys will be able to make it there in time, maybe you guys won't. Well, I just need the battle to go on, though. Okay, it seems like the Russians are definitely being kind of uh, moving in-ish. In-ish, I guess that's a word. Okay, you guys go conquer St. Petersburg again. Oh my goodness, yeah, we just got like lost 85% of that war. So let's go conquer St. Petersburg again. Because we don't want them to lose St. Petersburg. We just got St. Petersburg, I'm not losing St. Petersburg. And let's see, any Russian armies that need to be dealt with? No, we basically have the Russians defeated, which is good. We basically have the most valuable fronts def destroyed, defeated. We've destroyed a lot of their armies. Yes. Okay, and we're sieging back the capital. There we go. And we're moving in our own troops. It's going to take us a little bit, though, because we have to travel a lot. Oh, where are they even? Oh, there they are. Yay! Our army's coming over here to regroup. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have... Okay, I'm not going to move out just yet. What I'm going to do is maybe they'll attack with just 35. I know they'll attack with just two, but wait, wait. What we'll do is actually we'll reverse these two places. Because I definitely want them to come after my men. Oh, wait. They're going to do it just naturally. Okay. And what we're going to go do is they're going to reach there on the uh, 15th. We're just going to keep them... Oh, they're really just going to keep attacking even with that? Wow. Okay. Let's see. We're keep These guys are going to keep on going. So the battle should be able to last a good amount of time. I should have my troops over there just in time. Or my troops will all kill them before they even reach the battle. Wow. Okay. 93%. And let's see. We're about to go get another battle here. Oh my goodness. Destroyed them. Go right here. Go destroy these guys. Oh my goodness. Yep. Destroy them. The Russians moving in pretty quickly. They have a little bit of battle right there. Let's hope that they can uh, deal with that. British also moving in right here. Russians dealing with this problem. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. We have almost enough to force them to do what I want them to do. Oh my goodness, we're right there, people. We're right there. And let's see, we have another army right over here. So let's go use that to go crush all these guys. Let's go finish up 
uh, let's go finish up this front over here so that people stop, so the, you know, the Russians stop, uh, the Germans stop sending army to go over here because we don't need to be conquering uh, Finland. Finland isn't exactly a goal right now. Okay, so let's go finish up Finland. Okay, so that the Germans stop sending in troops over here. Because we really don't, if there was an attack and a counterattack, the Germans, I mean, the Russians could potentially, like, destroy us. So let's go make sure we finish up the rest of their lands-ish. So we make sure we can do what we need to. And then we'll go deal with other things. Okay. Seems like we are sending in more men over there. Because apparently that's what they're going to do. And actually just stay right here. We're just going to stay right here and siege down the rest of this. And let's see, stockpile T. Germany's moving in more troops down here. Yes, we're still keeping a good front down there. Britain's reconquering my land down there. 97? Oh, so close, so close, so close. Oh my goodness. Just a couple more sieges, guys. Just literally a couple more sieges. And then these guys will be, like, dead. We'll literally be owning the entire Russian Empire. Do you guys even get that? Do you guys even understand that? We could own the entire Russian Empire. This is kind of crazy to think about. In a couple turns, we could literally own the entire Russian Empire. <gasps> oh my goodness, okay, let's get some lumber mills then. Because I know, I know Russia has a lot of lumber mills. And we're going to need lumber mills. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, let's see, do I have it? Yes! <gasps> you guys ready? Three, two, one! Yes! <gasps> Oh yeah! Look at that, people! Look at that! Oh. We finished up with that war. That means we can also get some new colonial provinces. Transjordan, Haytail, and this province right here. Oh my goodness. We just finished up with one of the hardest wars we've ever had to fight in our entire lives. And... Wow. We now have a population that's 44.93 million and holy shit we're making a lot of money okay okay decrease decrease spending decrease spending get about to 70 yeah we don't we don't need that much money let's be real here i i know my i know my expenditure we don't need that much money but dang we have this all and apparently they want to come and fight me france you really want to come and fight me after i just went through a war that basically cost me most of my men i mean you guys are smart but you guys are also idiots so Let's see, France, who... Okay. Alright, and I've officially decided that the next... Okay, I have to get my infamy down, so... Let's release some little tiny states, and we can release more little tiny states over here. So, let's see, who do I want to release? Let's release Crimea, first off. Okay, so we get our infamy down, and then we can release that. Latvia. Hmm. Anyone else we can release? Hmm. Oh, South Africa! There we go. Alright, now that we release those guys, what I'm going to start doing is actually start uh, decreasing relationships with Italy, and we're actually going to declare war on Italy next. Because I don't like the fact that we have an Italy Italian nation right here, because that means they could potentially declare war on me at any time. So we're going to go deal with these guys. Once we're done with dealing with those guys, then we have to go figure out who we're going to go declare war on next. Who are the great powers right now, anyways? Oh, well, they're very divided. By the way, do you guys want to get out of this? Because I don't think you're going to win... Uh, uh, France, I don't think you're gonna win. You really, you really don't wanna... Wow. France, you literally have the Germans, the, the British, and the, the f Italians. You basically have this entire world against you, and you still wanna hold on to stubborn pride to see if you can beat me. Oh, by the way, open up all these factories that the Russians had. Oh my goodness, and now we became even more of industrial power. Okay, and that means we should also be encouraging more industrial stuff. Let's encourage more, um, let's go to Bohemia, encourage craftsmen, encourage capitalists, move, yeah, move over Mosenbolt. Yes. I don't really need to be encouraging craftsmen anymore in my regions, because I believe from now on we're just going to be conquering regions to gain our industry. But yes, guys, we won. I can't believe we won this. We won this entire land. That's amazing. And let's see, is France decided to quit yet? They will accept. Thank you. France, you're not going to win this. You should know this already. Good. Okay. Now, Italy. 
You should know I want to kill you. Even though you guys sided with me, and I really do love you guys sided with me, I'm still going to go kill you. <laughs> I'm still very, very mad at you guys for... I guess we could bring down taxes even more. Oh my goodness, that makes my people happy when I bring down taxes. Okay, wait, wait. Bring down this to 72, bring down this to like 54. No, no, no. We need to actually keep the rich actually happy, so bring this down to like... Right here to 40% because I want to make sure we have a lot of rich in our country and they're spending almost all their money on upgrading our stuff Because as you guys know we have a lot of land and we have potentially a lot of factories and railroads We need them to build so if they could get onto that that'd be really nice like severely really nice So we need them to do that uh, Jeremy's calling us for help against who? Oh my goodness Oh my goodness, so the Bavarian North Germanic War. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Right now. I just got in peace. I was kind of I was kind of like almost enjoying myself right there just for a second. But Declaring, uh, we could probably beat these guys, uh, but uh, this is just too many alliances. <clears throat> I'd lose my North Dramatic Federation. They'd get very mad at me if I didn't come in. We'd also lose prestige, but oh my goodness, that is a ton of prestige we just lost. But I definitely could not. No, you guys don't get to move into my land. You might, you may kill my, va you may kill my friend. But you guys don't get to move into my land to kill my friend. Okay. I'm also going to use this opportunity to go and justify a war against Italy. Italy. And we're going to go see. What do we have right now in terms of an army? Not very much. <laughs> Most of our men, understandably, were killed during the Great War. So we're going to go try to start building ourselves back up. Let's see. Uh, let's see. So to complete this army, we're going to need two more soldiers. So... One, all right, two, and actually we could build three, four, five, five, that's nine, ten, all right, ten, then we need four of these guys, one, two, three, four, okay, then what else do we need? We need um, a couple more cannons, so one, Two, all right, three, four, and why do I have level 10 level uh, mobilization recruit will soon begin? Oh, okay, I, I, that's a cool symbol. I've never noticed that symbol before. Okay, and Germany's going to be like torn asunder from all this war. Um, I feel so bad for like not choosing them instead of choosing the other people. Um, but Germany looks like it's going to have a little bit of difficulties for a little bit. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to wipe out the uh, Italians. Because the Italians are a mother-annoying country. And I really don't want to deal with them. What are you talking about? We're not trying to declare war. We're just making peaceful talk. And playing around in the sand. This is how we talk in our country. Alright. Great Britain's even at war with them. Wow. They really got messed over in this, in this war. Okay, and I've had somebody that declared war on me, so let's see, who do we want to release now? Uh, Latvia is probably the next person we're going to release, because I think they're at the top little bits. Oh, no, they're not the top little bit. I thought this was this. Whoops. Alright, by the way, you guys go down here. And, yeah. Let's see, who are you at war right now, Great Britain? You're not at war with anyone, but seriously. Oh, my goodness. And then Germany right now. Uh, Germany might be able to pull out of this. I believe Germany is actually going to win this. In the end, I think Germany is actually going to win this. I had no doubts that they were going to win this. I just didn't want to enter this war. An excellent initiative. Hiccup. Alright, seriously, I did not want to enter this war. Because I just got through a war, and I don't want to deal with another war. But we need to destroy the Italians while they're still strong. Let's see, where are they at? There are 117 men when they're fully mobilized. Man, even with them, you know, having really bad troops. By the way, hey, you, I'm going to give you military access. Only you, though. I want you guys to go crush through 
the entire, oh my goodness, ultra-liberals, finally somebody's getting mad at my country, took them like years, okay, let's go see, let's go build some more industry so that we can get some industry built up, and let's see, you have some little bits of rebels, let's see, can I maybe give them military access, they already have military access, can I give you guys military access, give you guys military access, you guys go deal with my rebel problem, seriously, I don't really want to go deal with it. <laughs> Oh, and look, we're actually connected to this. Oh, cool, we're actually connected right there. So that means the British have definite borders with us, even more so. But, let's see, is anyone going to go deal with that, or do I really have to go deal with that myself? Uh, the Germans are crushing through everything. Uh, kind of wish I could form an alliance with them again. Let's see, too many great alliances. Uh, hmm. I'd have to think about that, because right now, we definitely don't need a great in the alliances. Watch here, increase opinion, you guys are good. Let's see, you guys, oh no, you guys set to rebel hunt, yes. You guys are set to rebel hunt, you guys are going to go hunt these rebels down. Actually, you know what we should do, this would make it a lot quicker, is we should actually just build an entirely new army over here to deal with all these threats. So, let's see, let's make a... Waypoint right here in Gulvich. Alright, and let's see. Let's build one, two, three, four, uh, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all right, nine, ten, and then right here, wait, 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 no, 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 there we go, one, two, three, and four, yay, okay, and then this army will go crush that army, and we're just going to go have our troops right over here, when is the last possible moment we can use this cause of because I think we're going to use it. 1872 next year okay we're gonna see where we're at next year in terms of troop count and manpower because we want to make sure if we declare war in Italy we are ready for it like we have the troops we have the armor we have everything I'm also giving I'm also giving Germany a major chance to go destroy as many of their enemies as I can because I know how much they really want to do that yes yeah, it's also putting the Italians on a much bigger they're moving in, the Italians are moving in all their troops to uh, Germany, which they're going to get crushed, which is good. That's exactly what we want them to do. Let's see. Supply limit. Where's a good supply limit? Verona. Let's go use that. <gasps> we can make a new state. Dargula. Yes. All right. That's cool. That's cool. We also got some more people that are uh, using that. Let's see. By the way, are there any, do I, are we substituting ma majorly? No, we aren't. Okay. And let's see. You guys building kind of an army. Okay, you guys go back to where you guys are supposed to be. Good job. And let's see, you guys a decent sized army? No. Are we building more of an army? Probably not over here. Let's just see. Are you guys a decent army? Oh no, this is where all the soldiers went. Okay. You guys go over here, and from here we're going to discombobulate them and like have them separate. Yes, we have an army ready and willing. Basically what I'm planning on is I'm going to have an army instantly ready to go declare war on the Italians. Once they, like, let their guard down. So once the Italians let their guard down and they've lost enough troops, we're basically just going to go declare war on them and destroy them. Because right now they're sending up all their soldiers to go fight up against Germany. And once that's all done, we're just going to go defeat them and go destroy them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just let them weaken themselves just a little bit. And once we have our chance, we're going to go fight them and destroy them. Alright, let's see. we got Alfred a crisis right now. Didn't really gain enough altitude. Germany's, by the way, winning the war. Kind of didn't expect that one, did we, people? Mm. Let's see, gain more cradles. Yes, they're moving in all their soldiers up into the north. Exactly what I wanted to do. To keep moving up all their soldiers up into the north, we will have the advantage. A lot of people are building more factories. This is good. How many uh, uh, people do we have? 3,000. I think we could probably increase it if we have a little bit more uh, help. Okay. So, of course not. Let's see. You guys group up. Divide up the men. Go send half of them over here. 
let's see you guys over here you guys are all good what's the supply limit right there again oh wow i actually chose a really good place because that supply limit is 50 right there i want to thank you guys for watching see you guys next time